What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the four reasons why you should upgrade. Four is, I admit, a really weird number. And I'll also be honest, I couldn't come up with a fifth reason, at least a good fifth reason as to why you should upgrade because some of the things are exactly the same. Storage, RAM, battery size, exactly the same on both of these phones. So you're not gonna really get any differences between the two. But again, I thought of four good reasons why you should upgrade. But anyways, you know, before I even jump into those four reasons, if you're extremely happy with the Galaxy S20 Ultra, do not upgrade. This is for people that kind of are on the border of thinking about upgrading or always love to upgrade. It's for you guys. Let's jump into it. The first reason, the display. There's been some improvements with display in two key categories. First, brightness. So the brightness on the Galaxy S20 Ultra is about 1,340 nits of brightness, 1,340. Well, on the S21 Ultra, it's been bumped up to about 1600 plus nits of brightness. So it's gonna look better outside in sunny environments. It's gonna work better in just a brighter you know, world that you live in. And it's gonna be great for you to be able to have a nice, beautiful, bright display. Now, the S21 Ultra gets very, very bright. S21 Ultra takes it up a notch, gets a little bit brighter, so if you love bright displays s21 ultra is definitely one a, re a reason you want to upgrade to and speaking of the display this is still reason number one the display overall has a faster better refresh rate at the highest resolution now on the s21 ultra you can do 120 hertz but it's maxed out at full hd plus aka 1080p plus on the galaxy s21 ultra you can go all the way up to WQHD+, also known as 2K+, at 120 hertz. You'll get max resolution at the max refresh rate, meaning you can get an ultra smooth, beautiful looking display. And again, 1080p+, 120 hertz is no slouch. It still looks amazing on the S21 Ultra. But again, if you want a brighter display and a display that runs at the highest resolution with the highest refresh rate, you wanna go with the S21 Ultra. Next up, performance. On the Galaxy S20 Ultra, you get a Snapdragon 865 or the Exynos processor. And on the Exynos side, it's a little wonky. I know people aren't very happy with the performance. It overheats, it slows down, it does this, it does that. People that have Exynos just generally aren't happy. Well, on this year's version of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you're looking at the Exynos 2100, which has been much, much improved. And with benchmarks, it beats and basically ties the Snapdragon 888, which will also be in the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Snapdragon has been really, really good. The improvements this year will be about 20, 25%, somewhere in that range in terms of performance over the last Snapdragon. And then the Exynos version, again, is gonna be that much better versus last year's Exynos. You shouldn't see over any overheating. You shouldn't see any performance drops or anything like that. It's gonna be a very, very big jump. And you know, Samsung's put videos out about this showing that they've improved the performance of the Exynos and to, to, be, to expect it and they're confident in it. So performance, especially if you're in another country and you have the Exynos, it's a big reason to upgrade to the S21 Ultra. What about the cameras? That's my number three reason to upgrade. Cameras year in and year out generally get slightly better. There's a couple of things that would make you definitely wanna to upgrade to the S21 Ultra from the S21 Ultra. Let's talk about the first reason, and I think it's probably the biggest reason. S21 Ultra has issues with autofocusing, especially on things that are kind of close up. If you have a picture, if you take a picture like this, it has a, a really tough time of focusing. Sometimes it would be if the, the thing's a little bit further out. There's definitely issues with autofocusing. S21 Ultra will fix those issues. It completely bugged me on the S20 Ultra. And if I still had that phone, I'd be still annoyed by it. I'm glad I don't have it for that reason. S21 Ultra, again, will not have autofocusing issues on things close up. They've changed the focusing system overall so that we don't have those issues. You're still gonna get that great 100X zoom on both of these cameras, the S20 Ultra and the S21 Ultra. It should be a little bit improved on the S21 Ultra, that 100X zoom. 
just because it's going to be newer cameras, newer technology, so the it won't look as muddy and puddly looking on that. The last big reason, at least in my eyes, is 4K60 with optical image stabilization on all the cameras for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. The 4K60 on the S20 Ultra, you can do it, but it's not OIS. It doesn't have any stabilization in there, so it can look pretty bumpy and not that great when you, you know, walking around or moving around. You shouldn't have those issues with the S21 Ultra. 4K60 video should look too sweet. And my last reason to get the Galaxy S21 Ultra over the S20 Ultra is this thing right here, an S Pen. You are going to get basically full S Pen functionality on the S21 Ultra. You'll be able to use it to take selfie photos. So you could have your phone basically right here or whatever, press the button on here, and it will take a photo of you a little bit away. You'll be able to write on your screen, take notes, color, do whatever you want in terms of that kind of stuff on the display, which you can't do on the S21, S20 Ultra. S21 Ultra, again, bringing S Pen functionality. Now the S Pen will be a separate purchase from the S21 Ultra, it'll be about 40, 50 bucks. You'll also probably wanna get a case that houses it and Samsung will be releasing a couple of cases at least at the, you know, the early point and probably third party manufacturers as well sometime down the road that will take advantage of you being able to house the S Pen with the phone inside the case, not inside the phone, but inside with the case. So if you're a huge S Pen fan or you're at least wanting to try it, S21 Ultra is definitely the way to go. You'll get the latest Samsung phone without having to go back to last year's Note 20 Ultra, which not a slouchy phone, but S21 Ultra will be a better phone overall. Everything's newer on it and slightly better. So why not get the S21 Ultra? That is my four reasons. Let me know if you think of a fifth reason or you know, let me know what your thoughts are about upgrading from the S20 Ultra to the S21 Ultra. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.